Hello again everyone, this is Brett Ridgeway with 50BiggestWebsiteMistakes.com and today I'm going to talk about our mistake number 21 which we call not very beneficial. This mistake is directed at the sales page but could apply to an entire website. So many times we miss the boat with this one. We craft a nice looking page and have fairly decent sales copy on the page. But for whatever reason we don't seem to be getting the sales we think we should. Why is that? Well, one good reason is the visitor doesn't understand how your product or service benefits them. Too many times we overlook this essential factor when creating our sales letter or sales process. We usually explain what they get in all the details, but overlook how the consumer can utilize your product or what it does for them. One thing to think about when writing your benefits is, what problem does your product solve for the buyer? For example, if you were selling a jacket, you would first have to determine what this jacket does. Does it provide warmth, style, protection from the rain, two pockets, four pockets, zipper, or button? By thinking of those types of things for your product, you can easily write a list of benefits to better sell your product. Just remember to be descriptive of how it helps the buyer, such as by wearing this jacket, you will be stylish and warm if you're caught outside on a cool, rainy day. Now, we're not professional copywriters, but I'm sure you get our drift. So many websites miss this element. When looking at your site as a whole, you need to consider does the website benefit me or the visitor? Many times we create a website based on what is good for us and not necessarily what's good for the visitor. For example, does the ethical bribe we have for opting in provide a benefit to the person that opts in? Or was it just something that we could put up there quickly to complete the site? By making the site beneficial for your visitor, you'll increase your conversion as well as improve sales. Hey, for other great website tips, please visit our site at 50biggestwebsitemistakes.com.